Hello and welcome to the official Lost Video Podcast hosted by ABC.com. We're here today with Michael Emerson and Elizabeth Mitchell, the other woman from last night's episode title. They're here to talk about that creepy scene with Ben where he raises tantrums to a new level. And coming up for you next week, we'll have an audio podcast with executive producers Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse. They'll take your fan questions and recap our next episode entitled Ji Yan. That airs on Thursday, March 13th at 9 p.m. on ABC and is available the next day at abc.com. Of course, the following day, we'll also have another video podcast for you as well. Here now are Michael and Elizabeth. Enjoy. expect Juliet to be particularly likable. So I think that that's, that was astonishing to me. That, that people were like, I kind of like your, I thought, well, how astounding is that? Don't you understand? These people came here to wage war against Ben. And Ben's gonna win, Jack. And when he does, you don't want to be anywhere near me. Because he thinks that I'm his. And he knows how I feel about you. I don't think it was a huge surprise to Juliet that Ben had feelings for her, but I still think it was, it was horrifying under the circumstances. Do you know, standing where she was, being where she was in that moment, do you know what I mean? Like her entire world comes crashing around her and he says, you're mine. You sent him out here because you knew this would happen. You wanted this! You wanted him to die! Why? Twice since we've been filming this show, Ben has lost it emotionally, lost his cool, and both times he does it in a kind of a big way and kind of a childish way. Oh, it's just creepy. And he did it so beautifully. He did it like a like a 12-year-old boy throwing a temper tantrum over like his first love, and I thought, I thought it was genius what he did. You're asking me why? After everything I did to get you here, after everything I've done to keep you here, how can you possibly not understand that you're mine? Many brilliant people are sort of stunted in terms of their maturity or their, uh, in their emotional control. So it doesn't seem altogether wrong that Ben is like an, he's like an angry teenager sometimes if he gets too thwarted. It's good, I think, that he has to drop the mask occasionally. Well, the thing that we have to remember about Juliet is, is how, how brilliant she is. You know, she's this, this kind of wonderful mind, and I think that Ben probably has a tremendous amount of respect for that. You know, you, it's not because Juliet is so enticing, it's just the fact that she's got this amazing mind. She has this amazing, you know, facile intelligence, and I think that that's what intrigues him. That's what draws him into her. What do you think of Ben? He's great. Uh, very smart and intense, challenging. He's been really good to me. Of course he has. You look just like her. And then there's the fact that I seem to look like someone whom we don't know who it is, and I just don't 